Madam Speaker, the President of the United States. President Trump gave his State of the Union address before a bitterly divided Congress just hours before the Senate is expected to acquit him. In those 78 minutes, not once did the president mention impeachment, but before he even started speaking, a sign of tension between Trump and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. President Trump seemingly ignoring Pelosi as she extended her hand to greet him before she turned and shrugged to her caucus. The House Speaker addressing the apparent snub in a tweet, writing, Democrats will never stop extending the hand of friendship to get the job done for the people. We will work to find common ground where we can, but we'll stand our ground where we cannot. Immediately after the president finished his address, Pelosi ripped up her copy of the speech in full view of the cameras. Why didn't you get on this speech? Because it was a manifesto of mistruths. President Trump used the address to make the case for his re-election, highlighting the economy and sprinkling in a handful of made-for-TV moments. Your husband is back from deployment. He is here with us tonight, and we couldn't keep him waiting any longer. Including a military family reunion. I will now ask the First Lady of the United States to present you with the honor, please. And even awarding controversial conservative radio host Rush Limbaugh the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Limbaugh announced this week that he's battling advanced lung cancer. <laughs> Trump's Republican allies applauding his talking points while Democrats mostly sat silently through the evening. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer delivered the Democratic response using the opportunity to remind Americans that President Trump was impeached. The truth matters. Facts matter, and no one should be above the law. It's not what those senators say. Tomorrow, it's about what they do that matters. But in the end, the bitter rivalry between the president and Pelosi taking center stage, the White House and Trump's GOP allies slamming the House Speaker's gesture. It was disgraceful. It was disgusting. You can tear up the speech, but you can't tear up the accomplishments, and that's what this race is going to be about in 2020. Some Democrats insisting outrage should be directed at Trump for using the State of the Union as a campaign rally. Let's hope we didn't distract you from the lack of factual accuracy in the speech, the divisiveness of the speech, and the uh, blatant appeal uh, to his base, uh, and very similar to his speeches in his rallies. Uh, it was a State of the Union designed to appeal to the base, uh, not to bringing our country together.